Hello investors, my name is Dehan. Welcome back to No One Place for all your investing needs. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the top three potential altcoins to buy here in the month of March. So as we can see in the past 24 hours, the market is down. We're down about 2.44% as we have some huge you know, catalysts coming up this week. So obviously on Tuesday and Wednesday, we have Jay Powell speaking about interest rates and different things like that that's going to be happening in our you know economy. So interest rates are most likely going to get increased by 0.25, so about a quarter of a percent. Before all of this situation happened across the world, uh, people were kind of already expecting a half a percent, so 0.5. But now, due to the market already getting hit and different things happening, you know, across the pond, um, we're seeing a 0.25 percent increase being kind of priced in right now, not the 0.5, which is kind of good because we did not want to get rug pulled pretty much by the Fed. So. Right now, let's take a quick look at the market. So Bitcoin down about 2.6%, Ethereum 2.55, uh, volume on Bitcoin 18 billion, Ethereum at 9 billion, so about half of it. Bitcoin trading around the 38,000, Ethereum trading around the 2,500 area. And then we have, you know, altcoins are down between 1% and 5%, depending on which one we're looking at. Obviously, Binance coin is uh, down about three and a half percent ripple down four percent after winning one of the cases uh, a few days ago We saw it, you know pop a little bit then we have cardano down one percent three percent on solana five percent on avalanche Five percent on polka dot dogecoin holding strong there around this ten to eleven cents area down about three percent And many of these other coins are down four or five percent as well So markets are on a downtrend right now, but could that flip around this week? Potentially we're gonna be watching very closely to see what happens guys So before we get into this content go ahead and smash that like button for me It helps the channel grow and it also shows support on the channel. So smash that like button Let's aim for 50 plus likes on this video subscribe to the channel turn on that bell notification So you get notified every time we make a new video and as always, leave a comment below letting me know which cryptocurrencies are you looking to buy at the current prices that we're seeing. So let's get into it. First of all, we have the crypto bubble. So this is how the market has been performing here in the past seven days. So we do see some green, which is a positive sign. Some of the biggest ones here is going to be green metaverse token, which is currently up about 175% in the past week. We have uh, Alpine F1 team fan token up about 229%. We have OG fan token up 78% or so. We have here movie block up 74%. Some other ones here. Some of these soccer uh, soccer stocks are kind of going up. You know, Roma here. We have Lazio. We have Porto. And some of these other clubs as well. AC Milan. Uh, they're getting some, you know, waves as you can say. So waves here is up about 43.3%. And some other winners as well. But we do see some red as well. There are coins that are down, you know, 15, 20, 25% or so as well. So we're seeing a mix. And hopefully we'll see that turn around in the next few weeks. So so let's get into it, guys. First altcoin on this list is going to be Gala. So Gala, one of the metaverse type plays because of all the things that they're coming out with different game situations. This one is down about 8% here in the past 24 hours, trading at 22 cents. Past week, we're up 2%. Past month, we're actually down about 23%. And then on the one-year chart, we are currently up 640%. So this coin traded around 0.2 cents, so about 2 cents here, pretty much the whole year in 2021. And then we saw the pop here from September to October to about, you know, about 9 cents. And then from 9 cents here in November, uh, beginning of November to about uh, Thanksgiving time period, we saw it go from 9 cents all the way to highs of over 73 cents, which is just incredible. That's about a 7x opportunity right there insane to see in about two weeks so 700 percent profit almost and then from that 70 cents high we saw it go all the way down to about 18 cents make a pop here in february all the way back to about 40 cents almost and then pull back down to this 20 cents area so obviously right now we're consolidating and hoping that we continue to make this support level a uh, strong support for the future if not we could fall below the 18 cents all the way back down to about 10 cents is the next strong support level after that 10 cents level, we go all the way back down to about 3 cents, which is not a good idea, obviously. So we see right here, market cap, 1.5 billion. And we were at highs at one point at close to about, let's just say about 6 billion or so. Volume is up 185% at 1.1 billion. Circulated supply, 7 billion Gala coins. 36 days typical hold time. It is ranked the number 35 coin. We have 53% buy and 47% sell activity on this one. Now, Gala is an Ethereum token that powers Gala Games, a platform for blockchain gaming. Gala is used as the medium of exchange between Gala Games participants. For example, it can be used to pay for in-game items. So, obviously, one of the bigger Metaverse plays. That's why we saw this pop here in November happen because that's when Metaverse coins were all starting to go up. So, we saw Decentraland. We saw... Uh, sandbox we saw axie infinity and many of these other engine i believe was one of them all of these were you know popping there between october and november and then we saw the sell-off now with the market but 
I, uh, I have a prediction that we could come back up in the future as the metaverse continues to gain momentum uh, once again. So there's always an opportunity and this could be a perfect opportunity to buy the dip on this type of coin for the future. So that is something that I'm personally looking at and the reason why I have Gala as my number one pick right here for the future. So that's going to be our first altcoin on this list. Our second altcoin on this list is going to be another hot one. It's going to be Solana SOL. So obviously the Solana network is you know the second most popular network behind the Ethereum network. So very huge uh, for NFTs. So NFTs is a huge thing. And if you guys are in the Solana network, obviously we do not like gas fees. And that is one of the big reasons for Solana to be traded or used because uh, the gas fees are very, very tiny, pretty much microscopic compared to the Ethereum uh, gas fees that we're seeing when we're trading on OpenSeas and different uh, websites like that for NFTs. So Solana currently down about 3% trading at $78.00. Past week, we're down 4%. Past month, we're actually down 15%. We did hit lows at one point at $75. Will we break through those lows? Potentially, yes, in my opinion. In the past year, we're still up 443%, which is insane. This coin last year was trading at $14.00. Hit a high at one point here in September at around 200, continued to rise on higher to 260. And then from 260, we came down to these lows of 78. So we've lost about 50 to 60 plus percent of our, you know, uh, market cap right there, basically. We're currently at a 25.4 billion market cap. Do I believe that Solana could potentially in the future be worth close to 100 billion market cap? Yes, for sure. I definitely think that this is just the beginning for Solana and will continue to grow. 1.3 billion here in volume, 32% higher than usual. We have 57 day typical hold time and it's ranked the number six coin, 76% buy activity and 24% sell activity on Solana. Now, Solana is a decentralized computing platform that uses SOL to pay for transactions. Solana aims to improve blockchain scalability by using a combination of proof of stake consensus and so-called proof of history. As a result, Solana claims to be able to support 50,000 transactions per second without having to sacrifice decentralization. So obviously, one of the bigger reasons that people like to you know, use um, Solana is because of the NFT power that they have and obviously the gas fees that we talked about in the beginning of the video. Uh, that is one of the main reasons why Solana will continue to grow. Same, we have other ones. I mean, we do have Avalanche as well coming in at the number three spot right behind Solana. We have some, you know, huge networks out there that are continuing to grow. Uh, just like, you know, Ethereum, we have Solana, we have Avalanche, and many, many other ones that are, you know, coming up in the future. So this is just an opportunity, in my opinion, to buy it at a cheaper price. If you were, you know, liking Solana at 150, 200, maybe even at 250, why would you not like it at 78? You know, 78 is a lot cheaper than those prices and it could make you some gains in the future. So obviously staking is another huge thing with, uh, you know, cryptocurrency. So that's another opportunity out there for any crypto investor. So that's going to be our second altcoin. And then last but not least, number three on this list is going to be Chainlink, also known as Link. Link is down about four and a half percent. So this one is trading at $12.70. Past week, we're down about 1.9%. Past month, we're down 17%, but we're still not at that lows that we hit in February. Now, in the past year, we're down 55% because this coin kind of had a nice run in the beginning of 2021. Hit highs at one point here at around, let's just say around $53 or so, and then we pulled back down all the way. But if we look at the all-time chart, we did hit highs here at one point in May. At May, we were trading at $53, like we said. But look at that run from pretty much December, from $16 all the way up to those highs. And we're at that, you know, close to $16 right now. So in a couple of months, it just made that huge run, which could definitely happen in the future once again. So is this a buying opportunity? Potentially. It's something you have to look in and, you know, understand uh, what's going on with the coin, what it does and everything for the future. Market cap, $5.9 billion. Volume is literally flat at 413.3 million. 83-day typical hold time, 18th rank. We have 70% buy and 30% sell activity. Chainlink is an Ethereum token that powers the Chainlink decentralized Oracle network. This network allows smart contracts on Ethereum to securely connect to external data sources, APIs, and payment systems. So definitely another coin that I'm watching that could easily be back at that 20 billion market cap area that where it was. And, you know, just a few months ago, let's just say about, you know, half a year ago or so. So uh, does Chainlink have potential? In my opinion, yes, yes, I believe it does. And so do the other coins that we've talked about on this channel, obviously. Now, one thing we do say always is, you know, I am not a financial advisor, guys. So this is not financial advice. This is all for entertainment purposes only. Before investing, do your own due diligence. Make sure you understand what you're getting into and make sure you speak to your advisor to understand, you know, the risks and rewards. So, guys, Guys, let's take a look at the rest of the market. First of all, Bitcoin, like we said, down about 2.5% here over the weekend. We were trading at around 39,000, broke down all the way to lows of about 37.5, and now we're coming back up a little bit with a comeback here going into Monday. Now, in the past week, this one's been all over the place, but we're trading flat, and then on the 1-1 chart, we're down 9%. Past year, we're down 35%. 
So, you know, since the beginning of January, we are down a little bit, uh, around seven or eight thousand dollars, let's just say, from the highs. But the good thing is, we're creating a support here, and hopefully, we create lower lows or higher lows, and you know, um, you know, high, uh, higher highs and lower lows. So, that is the goal right there that we're seeing and hoping for the future and for Bitcoin to continue to rise on back up and you know, bounce off of that support level for the future. Now, we see market cap 718.2 billion, 34% of the crypto market space, volume is up a tiny bit. We see 75% buy activity and 25% sell activity on Bitcoin. Now, Ethereum, pretty much same pattern. Over the weekend, it was trading flat. Then, boom, we saw this dip all the way down to about 24.92. Uh, In the past week, we're down about 0.1%. Past month, we're down 11%. Past year, we're actually up 36%. So, Ethereum doing very well. But in the past six months or so, we've been on this downtrend pretty much since Thanksgiving from that high of about 48 to 4,900. We've been on a downtrend. But now, we're building the support level, which is nice as long as we don't break through and continue to go lower. Market cap, 300 billion, 14% of the crypto market space. Volume is up 32%. We have 69% buy activity and 31% sell activity on Ethereum. So, both Ethereum and Bitcoin. Trading at these levels, trading sideways here in the past month or so, and we're waiting for a breakthrough either on the upside or the downside, depending on what happens with the market, obviously. The next few months are going to be extremely volatile, and I would not be surprised to see some huge fluctuations in the market. So be very, very careful before investing, guys. Make sure you understand what you're getting into. As always, guys, smash that like button if you enjoy this type of content. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time we can do a video. And as always, guys, I hope to see you guys in the next one. I hope you have a great weekend, and goodbye.